Yeah, noisy ravens. Yeah. So right now I just got up to the cabin and he's excited to do a spin around the block after our trip up and all the snow is gone. Come on, bud. First, spin around the block. Good boy. Oh, Wyatt. He's a bloodhound. Uh -huh. Search dog. He's my trailing dog. Oh, look at uh, we balls. just we just have a lot of fun up here. Oh, he gets you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the benefits of a bloodhound. Exactly. What's Wyatt, canine Wyatt. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said, she walks back in, I'm like, is Sasquatch running by? Sasquatch, yeah, no kidding. That, that's Wyatt the Squatch. Hey, buddy, come on. Come here, come here. Are you, you want a snow cone? He is. You can just see it all over his face. Oh, I'm going to mark your spot because I like these people. I like these people right here. Come on. Yeah, he is really good. He's a level two NSDA and... Last time I looked at their register, he's the only one at that highest level west of the Mississippi. So wow. he's, he's, quite a, he's got quite an accomplishment wow. title, but fortunately things have changed. Um, there are hardly as many people getting lost, you know. It's even, you know, the GPS's work better on the phones and sure, sure. Um, yeah. they slow things down so we don't get deployed hardly at all. Well, we still go out all the time and have a great time. Yeah. Now the whole business of uh, tracking elk and deer for people. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that one. Well, they're hard enough to find during hunting season, right? <laughs> no, no. So, interesting that you bring that up. Um, you can't do that um, in Oregon. You can't hunt with the dog for big game. Well, no, you wouldn't hunt, but once you shoot it, yes. you can't find it. Oh, it's yes. Yes. Oh, and a matter of fact, that's what I was getting to. They just changed the laws last year. Last year was the first year that in the state of Washington, we can use a dog to track wounded game. Good, yeah. Really I know. I Nobody called me. Most of my buddies, well, most of my hunting buddies don't even know that yet, but it is it is okay to do that now. And uh, everything that we hunted for fell right over, so we didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to use Wyatt. Yeah. Well, that's always a good part. <laughs> yeah. In my... Uh, years up here there have been a couple of monster bulls that i arrowed that i did not recover they were pope and young bulls and oh. I, I know having a dog like this at, if it would have been legal at the time it might have helped yeah. you know I think it would have made all the difference yeah and one big bear you Good know but michigan yeah so, um well, that's where we're from is originally from michigan and uh my friend bob He's a hunter beyond hunters. I mean, the guy, he's just like a machine. And it's like, Bob, slow down. <laughs> you know, and he'll find him. But when he can't find him... He calls he, the dog services. He will, but I mean... That's, Whoa! That's after <laughs> he... <laughs> that's after he, um, you know, crawls on his hands and feet and everything else. Yeah. He's rush trying to find these things. Right. And he's got this one guy. It's a little beagle. Oh, he's got a beagle recovery service. Yeah, I do. And that little beagle found him. Yeah, there's one I used to follow on uh, Facebook. His name was Dio, and he was from that uh, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana area. And he just he found so many of them. And he was a he was a big uh, bloodhound like Wyatt. Um, we have another one too. Have you seen Cedar? Uh, I remember meeting him about a year ago. Yeah. But I don't oh, know okay. if I remember Cedar because I know your truck when it goes by because you got all the. You know, yeah, it looks a little different. The the <laughs> cage. <laughs> the yeah. Oh, you're happy. <laughs> so, um, I'm, uh, I got a new attachment for my GoPro, and it's, it's on right now, and uh, uh, I talked to the Northwoods board, and uh, I used to do wilderness hikes and everything with Bucky, my lab, and, and uh, I did some early ons with him. And people really liked it. Everyone saw I put them up on, on Northwoods. And uh, oh, really? they don't do that anymore. But I asked, and 
The new president, Jason, said he thought it was a good idea, so... Great! Um, if I... Can I put this on Northwoods? Okay, great. Look at this. We got a couple of... Don't usually see this. No, we got some off-roaders coming in. Cool. I wonder if they have a cabin here or if they're looking for a cabin. <laughs> yeah. Maybe looking for one. Yeah, no kidding. All right, buddy, you want to finish it off? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm nice Karen. to meet you. This is my husband, Patrick. Karen and Patrick? Yep. Yep. Got it. Nice yep. to meet you. So, uh, watch the Northwoods Association thing. You might uh, see our little talk. <laughs> Wyatt's friends. <laughs> and yeah, yes, in fact, um, I had a great talk with you. What was it last year when you were putting those um, uh, those jacks underneath your cabin, yeah, leveling yeah, out? Yeah, those yeah. things are awesome. Yes, they are. Yeah. So, I got a little bit more to do. I got to do this corner. What are the name of those things? Ellis Manufacturing. Well, I'm sure about 90% of the cabins in here could use something, something like that. So. Um, if you're listening and watching and you're trying to figure out how to do this, come see Karen and and Patrick and he'll let you look under and see what he did. It's, it's awesome. That's it's, really a smart way to go. It's an incredible system and it's so easy. You can lift the whole cabin with just two fingers. Yeah, that's just cool. And it's like Every, after those big snow loads that we had, what was that, seven years ago? Every single cabin needs it. Yes. Yeah, it's easy. You Level in the middle, but the sides are off. The sides. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what's going on here. I need to do this corner because we're going to get rid of that slider and put a regular door in, but I can't do it until it's low. <laughs> we had so much snow that the um, second year that our front sliding glass door bent out and blew out. The back one bent out but didn't blow. And then the one side went out three and a half inches and then it finally crushed to the ground in the corner it was an enormous insurance we we're lucky we didn't lose the whole cabin the cables across the the middle saved it you know and we were thinking about when we moved in taking those cables off because you know I mean, yeah, it's thank god we didn't that cabin would have absolutely imploded yeah yeah, yeah. So, wow. every once in a while the snow gets serious up here yes yeah no doubt no doubt about it it, it has its telltale signs, you just gotta look. Yeah. What do you, you got little, what are those little, uh, is that from the nail heads? Well, the oh, box? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we got, I got a, uh, a epoxy primer. Yeah. We're gonna be Hit primer it. each one of them. Yeah. And then possibly go with that little color right there. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I can see you're working on it. You can trim out the windows then? Is that, you got yeah. that seal on there? That's the original up there. All yeah. the windows are changed out, except for that one. I just need to get... Um, I envy you, I have back. to do that too. It's not that hard. No, I know, but it's... it's just, it was a pain in the ass getting the other ones out because those flanges are underneath the T111. Yeah. Where there was attached to the structure, then they put the T111, which is correct. There was a pain getting those out, but it was about 45 minutes to an hour on each window. On each window, yeah. yeah. I need to do Where's that. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna head on down there. Yeah, Don't let them care. trip you. Come on, come on. There's no puppies in there. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that smile. All right. Nice talking to you. Bye bye. Come on. There's a little bit of snow left over there. Wow! Hey! Stop pulling! You need to settle in a little bit. Good boy, why? Come on! Come see me! Come on! Hey! Come see me! Come here! Wyatt! Come here! Come see me! Come here! No! Come here! Come on! I know you're excited, aren't you? You're excited. Come here. Come here. Come on. I'm gonna reel you in. There he is. Okay, we'll just give you a tour of the of the upper loop and northwards. Just keep it going. It's 
some beautiful cabins up here. So last week, if you look at the video, this was all snow covered, completely snow covered. And it was really sloppy coming up. It's still morning and uh, people are just getting going, getting their fires. It's Saturday morning, so. Between now and March, there'll be a lot more people that start coming up. Some of the early birds here are getting their cabin ready for a summer. And with the amount of snow and rain and everything we've had, we'll probably have a full reservoir, at least we can hope, for most of the summer. Because there's a lot of snow up on St. Helens right now. So this is the road down to the common area, which is where we've got boat docks and there's kids equipment and everything, but we're gonna stay up top. Kids, some kids play equipment. Oh, look at you, you're so happy to be up here. That's a happy dog. <laughs> he wants to go, go, go. <laughs> Why are you telling? Are you telling everyone why it's here, huh? Why it's in the North Woods? Isn't that awesome? You probably hear that from a mile away. What is it? Was it the bad deer? Did the deer come through here, or is it another puppy dog, huh? Was it another Northwoods dog? You don't like it when I step on your lead. It slows you down, doesn't it? So why it's a trailing dog, he's a nationally certified man tracker. And uh, when he gets really excited on his, on his man tracking, he'll get like this and he'll sound off. Especially, oh, he's going for it. Especially when we're tracking training for mommy. He likes to trail mommy. I gotta get mommy. She's lost. I have to save the day again. I gotta tell you though, that's about as much as I've seen him sound off. He's loving it. There are some really well kept, nice cabins up here. There's a couple of them here. Wyatt's in the North Woods. Yeah. You want to say hi to Carol and Joe? <laughs> oh, well, that was a big old tree that had to, that was dead and rotting and had to come out before it hurt somebody. My goodness, you want to go? And then this one over here. This is really a shame. This has stood abandoned, well abandoned. Um, it was a bank foreclosure or something like that. A bank holds it right now and they haven't been able to find another owner. Really a shame. Come on, bud, let's go this way. Come on, let's go back by the cabin. Come on, come on. I know the people went that way, didn't they? They did, they were walking that way, you know it. So another funny thing he does when we're just out doing walks or nature hikes and stuff is he gets into his head that 
you know, he's gonna, he's trailing this. I'm gonna trail that. I'm gonna get excited about that. You know, we do the same little game sometimes in our heads when, when we're doing stuff, but why well, it's no exception. Unless he's been scented on a specific scent, he, uh, he'll go along, he'll walk for a while till he's tuckered out and then he'll, he'll decide to start playing games. Because it's fun. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, there's a little bit of snow over there. So we're most of the way around the top loop now. I like this, uh, actually I like it a lot, this chest um, video holder. Hi there. Good. You hear Wyatt saying hi? <laughs> He's just so happy to be up here. He's just sounding off. <laughs> you probably heard him clear on the other side. Like what in the world is coming, huh? You. You want to say hi? He's a good boy. This is K9 Wyatt. Is there an interesting smell there, boy? Huh? Yeah? Something interesting? Mm. Oh, those ravens were, oh! I know why they keep coming back. I had a big sub sandwich left over and I dropped it. I threw it out of the truck when I got here for the birds. And they've been coming in and, and being squawking and being noisy about it. We're back at the hoot. No, you stay away from that sandwich. No, come on. No, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we're back. Yay! Back at the hoot. All right. 